Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So I've gotten a few questions about the Cricut Hat Press and whether or not it can do patches. So why not try it? So I've got three different patches today that we're going to try with hats. Spoiler alert, it does work. So we are going to try just regular patches. I'm going to try some varsity letter patches that are like a chenille feel to them. And then we're going to do sublimation patches. So when you sublimate on a patch, you're sublimating to the patch itself. So the patch has the polyester content. The hat can be any hat that you would like. So here I put it on a cotton hat, but as long as the sublimation patch is the polyester material, any hat will work with a patch. So that's a great way to get your sublimation designs on any hat that you would like if you use a sublimation patch. So let's dive in and take a look at how to make all three of these hats so if you want to add patches to hats with your Cricut Hat Press, this is the video for you. So let's take a look at the supplies we're going to use. I'll be using three different types of patches. A regular patch, some varsity letter patches, and a sublimation patch. We're going to sublimate on this first and then add it to a hat. Then I have my hats, and then I have the hat press, the hat form that comes with the hat press, as well as some strong heat tape from Cricut and some butcher paper. You will need a few additional supplies for the sublimation patch if you choose to do that one, and we'll take a look at those in a minute. For the sublimation patch, you're going to need a sublimation print. This is sublimation ink printed on a sublimation printer on sublimation paper. Then you'll need protective paper, heat resistant gloves, heat tape. The heat tape I'm using is just regular heat tape from Cricut. A lint roller. Then you may need a heat resistant mat to put your patch on when you take it out of the heat press. Now let's take a look at sublimating our patches. I start by cleaning the sublimation patch well with a lint roller. And then you want to add your sublimation print knot. We're going to take a look at different sublimation patches later in this video and different designs you can use. This one fits inside the patch inside of this stitched area. So I've just trimmed around this print a little bit and we want to put the sublimation ink down on the patch. And what I like to do is hold this up to the light to locate it correctly. Once I have it in location, we'll just flip it over. And now the back of this patch has a paper backing on it. We'll remove that later to add it to the hat. But it's important not to get your tape on the paper backing as it can stick to that paper. So what we want to do is put the tape just where it hits the stitching, and I like to tape on all four sides. So four pieces of tape gripping each of the four sides of the patch. And then we can add this to the heat press. So you want to press this at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. And you will want to add protective paper on the bottom as well as the top. And we're going to press it sublimation side up covering that with protective paper. Now I'm going to use my auto press to press this, but it would work in any heat press or even an easy press. It just requires medium pressure. Then once the patch has been pressed, we can just remove it from the heat press. And then we'll remove the protective paper and remove the sublimation print. So there you can see the one I just pressed and how good it looks. Let's look at some different design options for sublimation patches. So here's the one we just made and you can see that the design is inside of the white stitched area of the patch. Alternatively, you can go a little wider and go almost to the edge of the stitching with your design and fill up the entire patch, but leave the white area white. Thirdly, you can sublimate the entire thing. So this print I made it oversized and it sublimated on the patch as well as on the stitching and then you have a solid color patch or solid design patch. So whatever method you choose to sublimate your patches is completely up to you. Now let's take a look at adding this one to a hat first and then our other two as well. To add the patch to the hat I've added the hat itself to the hat form. So I've showed how to do this on previous videos. You make sure everything is out of the hat, pull the sweatband out of the hat, add the hat form inside, and then tighten this if possible, the back of the hat, so that everything is tight on the hat form. And now the hat will stand up and I can make sure that it's tight across the front. So we want to do this for patches just like we would for HTV or for sublimation. 
Once you have everything adjusted, it's time to add your patch. Now the sublimation patches have paper on the back. This helps protect the adhesive while you sublimate on the patch. So now we're going to remove that. It won't be sticky, so don't expect it to be sticky. It will just be a heat activated adhesive that's on the back. I have my hat press heating up 300 degrees and we're gonna press it for 15 seconds. I am using the Cricut Heat app, so I set the time and the temperature using the custom settings in the heat app itself. Then just locate the patch on the hat and we are going to tape it down a little bit. With the low temperature and time, the sublimation ink should not reactivate. However, I don't like taking chances with any of my presses, so I'm gonna add a piece of butcher paper and just tape it down on the sides just to make sure that the ink doesn't reactivate as I press. And now I'm gonna set my hat press in place and I'm gonna press the go button. And I'm just gonna hold it with about medium pressure. It only takes 15 seconds. I'm not even gonna move it back and forth. Then once it's done, I'll remove it. Pull this back and I'm gonna make sure it looks stuck and in place, and it does. So I'm gonna allow this to cool before removing this tape. Now this is cool and we can just remove the tape from the edges of the patch and this hat is done. Like that quickly, that easily, we've added a sublimation patch to a hat using the Cricut Hat Press. So now let's move on to a couple other patch designs. This version is just a regular old patch. I got a pack of assorted patches from Amazon and just picked this one out and I put it on my hat and used heat tape to tape it down. The hat is on the hat form, just as I showed you with the sublimation patch. We're gonna press this at 300 degrees for 60 seconds. I've already sent those instructions to the hat press via Cricut Heat. Now, the patch itself, the instructions say to cover it up to protect the patch. Nothing about protecting the hat to protect the patch. So we'll go ahead and cover it up, add a couple pieces of tape, and so this one is 60 seconds, so I am gonna go ahead and move it back and forth as you usually do with the hat press. And just press down slightly for the full time. Once that's done, we'll remove the hat press and then we'll just allow this to cool. I will double check and make sure the patch looks like it's stuck, but I'm gonna allow it to cool before removing this tape. Then we can just remove the tape from the hat. The patch is stuck and this hat is done. The instructions for these patches was basically the same. So both these and the flower, you don't have to remove anything from the back. There's no paper backing. There's adhesive on the back that's heat activated. And then I'm taping them into place just so they don't move on me. And once again, the instruction said to protect the patch itself with cloth or fabric, or I'm just gonna use butcher paper, but anything that'll protect the patch itself, the fabric. And again, 300 degrees, 60 seconds, and I'm gonna repeat the same procedure as for the other patch. Once this is done, I'll just remove this. Again, I'm gonna allow these to cool before removing the tape. Then we'll just remove the tape from the letters. Now these were like a chenille on the top, so it got pressed kind of flat while I was pressing it. So you may want to just sort of fluff that up a little bit just to fluff it back up from just the pressure of me pressing on it with the hat press. But they're fluffing back up nicely and this hat is ready to wear. So a great way to use varsity letter patches on hats with the Cricut hat press. So now all that's left is for you to find the patches that you wanna to add to your hats. I'm gonna to link to the supplies I used in the description below. If you're on computer, click show more. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video. You'll find links to the hats, the patches, and all the other materials that I used. If you have the Cricut Hat Press, I encourage you to give this project a try. I think you'll really like this. It gives a different look to your hats so that all your hats don't look the same. So thank you all so much for joining me. If you have any questions about anything we covered, please drop down in the comment section and ask away. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, we have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.